Hey everyone, it's your professional sarcastic man and seeker of attention, Oz Chris, here with a review of Justice League number seven, the end of the totality story arc, the end of Snyder's first run on Justice League. And I gotta say, I definitely liked it. I definitely liked this issue. It it nicely wrapped up the story arc while giving uh, giving readers hints to hints to the future, laying the groundwork for what's what's coming next for the Justice League. So the basic premise of this issue is that you know it's the end. the The end of the battle has come. Hawk Girl and Lex Luthor are fighting off to get the totality while the rest of the Justice League is getting ready to save Earth from Umbrax, the living the ultraviolet the living ultraviolet central battery for Sinestro's new corpse. Corp? Corpse? I, I still need to figure out <laughs> if it's corp or corpse. <laughs> but that's the basic premise and from this issue it is it is definitely a good issue. I've I've been impressed and I've been enjoying everything, every issue of Justice League so far. And this one didn't disappoint. And like I said, it nicely wraps up the totality while laying the groundwork for what is for what is to come. So this is definitely a good issue. Art as always is fantastic. And unlike Unlike I know this is some I know this is something like a lot of people this is it's a criticism of Snyder's work that I hear a lot is that he rushes he rushes the end. It's uh realizes this is the last issue, the story has to end. And he rushes it. With this one it, it didn't even feel it didn't really feel like it was rushed because the previous issue like half half of the conclusion was essentially in the previous issue and this is just the remaining half so it wasn't particularly it wasn't even really rushed it flowed naturally because it it was still it's still continuing on from the previous issue so definitely it wasn't rushed in the end of my in my opinion it was a good issue definitely a good issue it and my thoughts so far on Justice League as a whole of this first story it is definitely a it is a Justice League story no one overshadowed each other no one was better than one another they worked everyone was equal everyone worked as a team although you could say and I notice in this it the story wants you to wants you to think that the main focus is Martian Manhunter and Lex Luthor continuing on from No Justice where they kind of set up their not really their kind of relationship mirroring off one another. So they it wants you to think that those two are the main focus of the story. Uh it's Martian Manhunter wanting to find out what the totality is, if it has any clues to what happened to the rest of the Martians. And for Lex, it's something it's something that he wants to take control of and use its power for its own. However, that's actually not really the case. It is everyone everyone gets essentially screen time. Everyone is equal. There is, like I said, no one's better than the other. No one's just left behind, not doing anything. Especially this lot, the previous issue and this issue as well. Everyone has a job to do and... Well, except for kind of Batman because he's injured. So I... I you know, I think Batman did enough already, but <laughs> he's still going to try at least help regardless of his uh, situation. So you have Hawkgirl fighting Lex Luthor. You have John trying to power the, the speed force while Cyborg and Batman help Martian, Man, Martian Manhunter expand his powers to connect everyone on Earth. And you have the Flash trying to access the Steel Force. While Wonder Woman, Aquaman defend him and pretty much motivate him to be able to access his powers. The, it is the direct opposite of his powers from the Speed Force. So, of course, it's, he's not going to get it on a whim. So, it's for, they're there for um, 
moral support, but also when the Legion of Doom try to stop them. They're there to help make sure that the plan works, make sure their friend is safe, make sure he can do the job. And Superman as well is on the lookout, uh, making sure that everyone's plans uh, work well. They're not well, they work well. Uh, actually, their plans actually succeed, willing to almost sacrifice his life. Yeah, even here, um, he said, uh, Superman, you're deflecting some energy off deflecting some of the energy with your x-ray field but your cells you're going to die you need to get out of there it's like it's like nope flash close the door he believes in the team he believes in everyone they can do it and this is what this is what justice league, justice league needs to be it needs to be a team book it's a team effort there is no i in team and scott snyder has done a perfect job showing this in his first run with the rebirth Justice League, it was a, there was highs and lows, in my opinion, there was highs and lows to it, there were some parts I liked, some parts I didn't, but so far this one from this new Justice banner, I, I'm i always eager to pick this up, always eager to read it, it is, it is great, it is, definitely it is a, it is a series I would recommend at D, from DC now. It's enjoyable, it's fun, it's action-packed, it keeps you wanting more, you know, definitely as a, a writer, that's one of the things you want, you want people coming back for more, more issues, they want to keep reading it, they want to know what happens next, how the story progresses, how it finishes, and not only just Scott Snyder, but the rest of the team, the artists as well, do a great job, the art is, has been amazing throughout these seven issues, also even the variants uh, by Jim Lee and team, done a great job, Scott Snyder's done an amazing job, definitely Scott if you are watching this, uh, I, will, uh, have, I will be sending this uh, link to you if you wanted to see, you should definitely be proud of what you've done with Justice League so far, you've done a, you and the team have done a top, top job of Justice League so far, Definitely one of the best series coming out of DC currently. If you haven't been pick, you haven't been reading it, definitely pick it up. I believe the trade is coming out next month. For so if you haven't, so if you were, if you had concerns about Justice League, I'm here to alleviate those to get the to get rid of those concerns right now. It is a good series. It is a great series. Definitely the best. Definitely recommend you should. Definitely be reading Justice League. And you've done an amazing job, Scott. Everyone else, Jorge Jimenez, Jim Lee, Chung, Morales, Mori, all of them. Sorry if I miss out on everyone's names, but I can't say how many, can't say and just keep repeating how great this series is. It is, it is a great book. Definitely. And that's it for this, that's it for this review. Uh, also, almost forgot, there's a couple of surprises at the end. One, you would know if you've been looking at any news regarding the Justice League. One is an actual good surprise. So, look out for that if you've picked up Justice League already or have yet to read it. So, that is it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already or you've just found that you aren't for some reason, you know, YouTube, uh, leave a comment. Yeah, I want to hear, definitely hear your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you like Justice League? Did you not? Uh, was there anything else that I missed that you would like to add? Uh, check out my Twitter if you want. I don't do a lot on Twitter, but if you want to follow me on Twitter, that's up for you. That's up to you. Uh, and check out any of my previous videos if they, you know, they tickle your fancy. And I will definitely see all of you next time.